Hi, this video will show you how to obtain um, current monthly Morton's evaporation data for climate stations in Alberta. Um, start by uh, just going into Google and uh, enter in this uh, for a keyword search, Alberta Agriculture ACIS. Uh, click on this link here. Uh, you should Your search should return several links. This is the one you'd want to select. Uh, this takes you to the Alberta Agriculture and Forestry ACIS website. And uh, a few years ago, uh, a collaborative project between Alberta Environment and Parks and Alberta Agriculture and Forestry resulted in adding a Morton's evaporation component uh, to their website. And uh, what you want to do is go into the uh, Weather Station Data Viewer. Okay, then um, they have a map on the right, and you would just uh, scroll in to an area. I'll just pick an area close to our regional office, let's say uh, Lacombe. So these are all the climate stations. Uh, just select a location. So I'll pick Lacombe for now. Once you select a lo location, there's many ways you can use it. I'm just showing, you know, you can experiment with the options. They built a lot of functionality into the website. Uh, so let's just say I wanted some climate data, uh, evaporation data for Lacombe. Uh, go to the derivatives tab here. Um, now, what you have to do is, uh, because Morton's evaporation data is available on a monthly time scale, you want to select the uh, uh, period here to monthly. And then once you select it to monthly, then all the Morton's evaporation options become available. Uh, so you can download uh, shallow lake evaporation, potential lake evaporation, all the different Morton's evaporation components. Uh, give it a date. Uh, you're, only allowed, I think, five years uh, worth of monthly data uh, per query. Uh, so I'll just uh, go, let's say, 2014 uh, to 2018. So you will get it to current. It's real near, as current as uh, near real time. Uh, and I think that's about it. Then you can just do, you can do a graph here. So there's the graph results of uh, this location. And of course, you might want to download the data into Excel. And uh, and here are the results. OK, and that's really it. Um, and you could repeat uh, repeat the query as often as you need to for the different locations you're looking for data. All right. Thank you and goodbye.